we are getting close. We're getting close to going to the next, to the last level, headed to level eight. So yeah, so if you used um, both your potions um, in level seven, just buy another one. Make sure you buy the second potion. Um, you wanna make sure you have enough potions. And as you can see, I did get more rupees. You can never have too many. You don't wanna be caught in uh, not being able to buy a bomb bag in a level, or you don't wanna get caught having to um, decide between 50 rupees or a heart especially in this uh, next level. Level eight can be really confusing and turn around. Um, I do use notes for level eight just because I haven't memorized that one yet. And so it's, uh, it's a difficult one, easy to get turned around. Even with as many times as I've played this, I still Level eight. This is really the tough one in, in quest two for me. For whatever reason. So here we are, level eight. And this is a scary scene right here. So I gotta move that block on the left. I'm gonna try not to get hit. And I was mm, fortunate. Um, if you don't, you don't have to be too concerned. I mean, you can make it through. You're just going to have to use either, you know, your bombs or the red candle in different areas. Like here, you could use bombs if you wanted to. I mean, you don't have to kill these enemies, so it's not essential. I just did. Because uh, I'm going to go down here and walk through the wall. And I can just bypass the screen here. And this this is a real pain in the butt because you're trying not to get hit by the bubble. So here you would be able to hit the blue bubble and get your sword back. Or you can use uh, the red candle to try take out the wall masters. The key is, is uh, not to get hit by the bubbles into the wall master. And this is highly annoying getting hit by those red ones. <clears throat> Get my own blue bubble. Here we are. Sometimes you do have to take a chance. Live dangerously. And here we are. Oh, come on. And that should do it. I'll move this block here, and it was. And this will get me one of the two dungeon items. We have the magical rod. So a good alternative weapon, if you do get hit by the red bubbles, you can't use your sword. It's a good alternative. And now basically I'm going to be making my way back towards the beginning of the, uh, of the level. And you'll see what, kind of see what I mean. Even following that white dot, not having the map following that white dot um, in the left hand corner underneath the uh, level 8. Just gotta take care of these moblins, I mean the uh, Gorias. Not moblins, but Gorias. Here we are. Mm. Now let's go up the ladder. And see, there we are. And we have flashing ropes. I always like these for rupees. Although I have the max amount of rupees.
And we'll skip by Dig Dogger. Grumble, grumble. And I don't have food. Awesome. Okay. Well, <laughs> that extends this less, this uh, episode. Um, I do apologize. <sighs> okay. It's not too far away. It's annoying, but not too far away. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> One thing you can do is if you hit a fairy fountain, you can, um, you can get, you see your sword back. quicker traveling, avoiding enemies anyway. And now I can use my sword. So, on level 8 too, make sure that you have food. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I did that. That's alright, it wouldn't be an authentic playthrough if you didn't do something wrong in the playthrough, right? And it'll be a shorter distance going back to uh, level 8. It can always take a shorter route. Here we are with food. Grumble, grumble. You see it? One of these tech types are gonna drop a heart, but I guess not. And my, why not just go to the ferry? Get full health. I've already extended this episode. I'll extend it a little bit longer. Why not? I'm having fun. Oh, that was, that was a nice. Let's see if I can dodge this. Woo, that was close. Alright, so let's try this again.
So this is the Goria kind of Dodongo level here. And apparently Dig Dogger. <laughs> Trying to avoid those red bubbles. Trying to get them lined up. I like to feed them two bombs <clears throat> right to their face. That way, um, I'll get bombs back. Oop, didn't that time. Oh well. Well. That's all right. No, whatever. It's whatever. We have the magical rod. And we have we have enough. We have enough weapons. Oof. There we go. Magical key. Looking in good shape at this level. Whatever. I'm not going to change it. I'm really not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, let's do this, come on.
Oops. Bang. So that is the good thing about this level, you know, as long as you get the magical rod first, um, you're good. It doesn't matter if you get hit by the red, the red bubbles, you can survive the level, which is nice. Oh, this is annoying. I've been sent back to the beginning of the level on this part before many times. that you get these bombs, but um, I like to have plenty of bombs. I'm trying to make it out. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Again, you don't, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> you don't need your sword. the dungeon boss, you don't really, you don't need it, you don't need the sword. potion, the red potion, so I'm good that way. Um, I don't need any rupees, so I'm good. And I'm, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make way to level 9, and I will continue that though in, um, in uh, the next video. Make level 9 its own video. So it's in a different spot than in quest 1. Still in the western part of Hyrule, but just in a different location. I will finish quest 2. Booyah!